California has gotten a FEMA grant to help fight the fire. Two birds hurt in the big oil spill off the coast of Orange County are once again flying free. Both birds caught their wings and made their way into Huntington Harbor as people cheered them on from shore. Oil Wildlife Care Network's Dr. Jamie Sherman says these birds were released after a thorough evaluation. And the major things that we're always going to be looking at are they able to do what's normal for them? That's going to be swimming, diving, uh, flying for some of them. Um, are they eating, gaining weight, all these types of things? The group says more than 70 birds have been recovered and more than 40 of those birds have died. In Huntington Beach, Blake Trolley, KFI News. Six members of the LA City Council have introduced a resolution to enforce the city's new anti-homeless camp ordinance in certain areas around City Hall. Councilman O'Farrell also introduced a resolution to enforce the ordinance at nine underpasses in his district, which covers an area from northwest LA to Hollywood. The ordinance bans sleeping, sitting, camping, and obstructing the public right of way within 500 feet of a sensitive facility. A mail carrier in Colorado has been killed while delivering mail in a neighborhood north of Denver. Police say they think the shooter left the area. They are asking for people to share any home security videos they might have. 30 countries, including the U.S., have started two days of virtual talks on cybersecurity, but Russia was not invited, despite the fact that country is home to criminal syndicates responsible for many ransomware attacks around the world. And after William Shatner and three other passengers have been to space and back on Blue Origin's second flight from Earth, known for his role as Star Trek Captain Kirk Shatner says the short flight was mind-boggling. What I would love to do is to communicate as much as possible the jeopardy, the moment you see how the vulnerability of everything is so small. Blue Origin is planning one more crew flight this year with more flights planned for 2022. We're going to go to a crash on the 405 in West L.A. This one is along the southbound side. It's partially blocking the off-ramp at Wilshire Boulevard and right here is backing up, getting out of the zone almost from Moraga. So watch out here. We're also um, seeing some slow traffic that continues beyond Wilshire Boulevard. If you travel in stretches all the way to Westside Bellflower Boulevard in Long Beach. The traffic is Michael Bryant, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by Injury Attorney. We are trying to get the real on the 605. 605 South Bay, we have a problem around Whittier Boulevard. You'll go along that route down to the 5. But the bottom line is now it's well, pretty much for the 10 through the 5. Northbound side of the 605, similar situation there. A couple of things have cleared out. I don't believe any lanes are blocked now, but you're on the way 405 on and off up to the 60. Take the eastbound, you have to reach that lane interchange over to about Paramount. The 10 just a scope better. The 10 eastbound on uh, an off drive pretty much from City Terrace out through West Covina. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the sky. Pasadena, 210 eastbound, backing up all the way from Lincoln. Police taking you ahead all the way to Citrus. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This hour of KFI is brought to you by Sunlux, your best value in solar for all your energy needs. Sunlux.com. Warmer temps. We'll talk about that next. New Gingrich here. Can thieves really steal your home title? Take it from this thief who stole over 150 homes and was sentenced to 25 years in prison. This is why you need home title lock. Nobody thinks that I can take their house and borrow against the house. No, oh, no, I have title insurance for that. No, it, it's in my name, or he would have to get some special document. They would call me. You know, nobody's calling you. After I've stolen the title, borrowed against it, or sold the property, or done whatever I've done with it, it's 60 to 90 days to even figure out that that they're the victim of this crime. You know, by that point, you start getting foreclosure notices and you realize you've got four mortgages on your house. Not only that, you don't even own your home anymore. It's not even in your name. Heard enough? Go to HomeTitleLock.com and register your address to see if you're already a victim and enter NEWT for 33 days of protection. That's code NEWT at HomeTitleLock.com. I think we all gained a COVID-15 and need a diet, but if you're someone who struggles with weight your entire life, you know diets don't work. 
It's time to call Rex Medical and experience the Da Vinci X Surgical System to give hyper precision to weight loss surgery and a faster recovery. West Medical is the only place in the country with this breakthrough outpatient surgery, and it's covered by most insurances. Make that call today. The consultation is free. Change your life. Call 1 800 West Med or visit westmedical.com. I feel incredible because I called 1 800 West Medical. The KFI Financial Report brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow closed down less than a point. S&P 500 up 13. NASDAQ up 106. And the average price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 444. Bay Alarm will keep your commercial fire system in compliance so you're up to code, not up all night. Southland weather from KFI. Sunny tomorrow. Highs around 80. For Metro LA, mid-70s to mid-80s in the valleys. Low to upper 70s in Inland OC. 75 to 80 in the IE. And even warmer Friday. Right now, 74 in Orange, 67 Huntington Beach, 77 in Northridge, and 74 in Sun Valley. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Deborah Mark. Good right, morning, John Kent Show. John Covell and Tim Shampo, KFI AM 640. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Yes, more of us, but we talking a bit about inflation. I remember for years, whoever was the head of the Fed was obsessed with the possibility of rampant inflation like we had back in the 1970s and into the early 80s. But uh, we got some numbers that are just eye-popping that we're going to talk about. Connected to this, now the problems in the supply chain, uh, getting the goods to the store shelves means that uh, if they're not getting there on time and they're late, what's on the shelves will uh, be going up in price because there's still a demand for it. And uh, behind some of this is certainly the backup of the container ships at the port. We're about 40% of the shipping comes to the port of Los Angeles on the Long Beach port. And uh, we had a move made today by uh, President Biden to address these problems. So to tell us all about it is uh, Derek Dennis, uh, ABC News for KFI. Derek, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. So you're right. President Biden met with the leaders of uh, two of the biggest ports in the country that are right in your backyard there, uh, the Port of Los Angeles and the Port of Long Beach, California. He also met with uh, the heads of the International Longshore and Warehouse Union. He's trying to tell and push these entities to speed up uh, the, the supply chain, to get rid of the, ba the bottlenecks and the backlogs so that goods and products can be you know, transfer it to store shelves or even to our front porches if we're ordering online, and most of us are. Uh, there's been a big shortage and delay in the global supply chain, leading to massive holdups and deliveries, both in raw materials, finished products, uh, a lot of goods, toys, uh, household items, you name it. All of it has been stuck in warehouses and in ports and in shipping containers, uh, trying to get from point A to point B. Well, President Biden looking to move that process along, really appealing to these uh, port leaders as well as the unions, and even some of the big retailers out there, Walmart, uh, Target, the UPS, trying to all get them on the same page here to move the global supply chain along. What is it they're going to do now that they haven't already been doing? Because I would have thought it's in everybody's best interest to make whatever changes that are necessary months and months ago. Like right. Well, we can all we can all want good things, but sometimes good things just don't happen. But the president did get commitments from Walmart, UPS, Target, and others that they would move towards a 24/7 shipping and receiving process. That means that you know normally they would be using you know shipping and receiving you know workers and and processes uh, during the day or the early morning hours or even overnight, but not 24/7. This is a big commitment that the president scored today, a meaning that the process, the bottlenecks, will be moving along around the clock, and that should make the big difference here. Right. I, I've read that a big part of this problem is they don't have truck drivers. I, I read today there's 537,000 job openings in all right. the related industries connected to the supply chain. If, if people aren't even applying for the job, what are the companies going to do? Right. You're, you're not just reading it. It's real. The shortage of workers is a big part of the issue here. And you're right. Uh, there's no real answer. The president can't, you know, you know single-handedly wave a wand and get people to apply for jobs. 
even the companies that are out there advertising for the jobs, uh, giving incentives like signing bonuses and what have you, still are not attracting the workers. It really is just a, a, a campaign that has to be uh, established here to get those workers on the job. They need truck drivers. There's a need for just port workers. There's a need for you know the workers in the warehouses for you yeah. know Amazon and 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 Target and Walmart to get on the job and get these goods where they need to go. The truck driving is tough work. A lot of the baby boomer, uh, the baby boomer uh, generation, they they retired, and that accelerated right. uh, during the COVID lockdown. And the younger generation, a lot of them are not interested in truck driving jobs. Yeah, the trucking industry is real, has taken a real hit as the country has just gone more modern. Uh, things that we used to be able to have to order uh, or, or get shipped to us, we can now do a lot of these things online. We can, you know, order a lot of things uh, very easily, and then, you know, the shipping is one thing, but, uh, you know, you might be able to find them at your neighborhood store if those goods can get to the shelf. So that's really the conundrum here that the president is trying to fix. But getting the workers into these jobs is a big component here. And the president, you know, really has his hands tied here. He's really depending on uh, these big corporations to figure out a way to hire more workers. All right, Derek. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Derek Denny. Hi. Are you yeah. Sure? They're trying to figure out just how much this is contributing to the inflation we're seeing along the supply chain. I mean, this has been going on for a couple of months, but it gets increased attention. I mean, the story I'm looking at now, uh, the Port of Los Angeles and Long Beach, Monday there were 62 ships at the two ports and 81 waiting to dock and unload. Are there enough of the kind of uh, rough physical guys who normally would show up for a truck driving job in this generation? Again, you're calling this generation soft. And well, I mean, you only need a small percentage of people. I, I know that, like you, but but they haven't shown up. So is it is is these to be well-paying jobs, though. I, I know. I'm I'm hearing the ads all the time. So I'm starting to think if if they're offering a lot of money and they're offering a lot of benefits and signing bonuses, and they definitely are, but you still don't have people showing up then, yeah, is it a soft generation that doesn't want to do the hard manual labor that the baby boom generation or our parents' generation were willing to do? Yeah, I, 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 the, the, uh, although I, you, you would think that with all the immigration that's happened, yeah. the legal immigration, that there'd be a lot of people, uh, a lot of guys wanting to do that work. But, but you know, it, it, it's weird. I mean, I, I, I just don't equate like the whole snowflake generation it seems everybody spends their time online getting offended over something that isn't a guy who's going to drive a truck cross country yeah i mean because i have read that longshoreman jobs those are the guys that actually unload the containers from the ship those jobs usually have a line of people that want them because they're good union jobs yeah they, they generally pass them to their kids yeah the trucker jobs so you may be right a lot of truckers are independent some people are claiming that AB5 has hurt this business because of independent truckers. So, you know, have to be classified as employees. Right. And it's causing if problems. You're a freelance truck driver. Truck driver. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of freelance truck drivers who just, you know, are just paid to haul loads. Well, because, 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 you know, as, as time went on, I mean, I, you know, I grew up, my dad was a factory worker. And many of the people in my neighborhood, their dad worked in factories for blue-collar jobs. And I wonder now if everybody's dad is working mostly in offices now. I, I read like in, in San Francisco. Well, yeah, it's become a much more information digital society. So. Like, like in the Bay Area, I heard 45% of the people who work in the Bay Area can do it from home. Literally almost half of the workers in the Bay Area don't have to leave their house. Now, you're not going to get a lot of truck drivers out of that crap. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think they're ready to transition. You know, they're, they're the type of person that stops and takes 22 minutes to order a, a coffee at Starbucks, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but there's plenty of good old blue-collar people left in this big country. I don't know. You shouldn't judge everything by the Bay Area. But why don't they show up and take the job? Or are they I still living know. off all the uh, free Biden money? They're, they're, I they're guess they're going to have to bite the bullet and pay people more. I don't know. That's how it works in our free market system. You pay supply and demand. You'll get people. I mean, it may take a lot more money for people to do that kind of job who wouldn't ordinarily want to do that. 
Well, we'll talk about inflation. I'm calling it Bidenflation. These numbers. Oh, I like that. Man. Bidenflation. Yeah, I got that from, I think it's Breitbart. <laughs> I'm going to pick that up myself. It's the Breitbart <laughs> website. calls it Bidenflation. They, they spend all day trying to think up those. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing now. When, I mean, I look at the right-wing websites more than I look at the left-wing web, websites. I'll admit that. But I look at CNN every now and then. But the right-wing ones, well, they're going to town on Biden. They're, <laughs> they're doing a dance over at like, the New York Post. <laughs> yeah. Over all these stories that are circling around this uh, president who, what is it again, slipped on a banana peel? Uh, and, uh, stepped on a rake, slipped on a banana peel, and, and held down a staircase full of marbles. staircase yeah. full of marbles, yeah. All right, more coming up. Johnny Ken can't buy. Deborah Mark has news. Facebook has expanded its online harassment policies to do more to stop attacks on public figures, as well as abuse directed at journalists and human rights activists around the world. As you've been hearing Johnny Ken talking about, the Labor Department says consumer prices went up 0.4 percent last month, pushing annual inflation back to the highest increase in 13 years. Johnny Ken will have much more on that. A major fast food chain is taking a stand against disappointingly cold and soggy fries. Wendy's has introduced its hot and crispy fry guarantee. So if your fries are hot and they're not crispy when you get them, if your fries are not hot, I should say, and crispy when you get them, Wendy's will replace them, no questions asked. Trouble on the 57, and we will check in with the KFI in the sky next. I'll give you $1,300 off LASIK. If you're one of the first 10 KFI listeners, Call Dr. Charles Manger at Saddleback Eye Center. Obviously, you have to have lousy vision, right? And uh, you have lousy vision. You're nearsighted, farsighted, you have astigmatism, you wear reading glasses. Dr. Manger can fix all of that. And it's an easy process. You go for the LASIK exam, then the procedure, which only takes 20 minutes, it doesn't hurt. And you walk out of there, in most cases, 20-20 vision or better. I will give away 10 $1,300 discount certificates to the first 10 KFI listeners who call now and schedule a free LASIK exam. Dr. Manger is the best in the business I know. I went to him years ago, and I've seen 2020 ever since. First 10 callers, free LASIK exam, schedule it, and you get $1,300 off. 866-559-4444. 866-559-4444. 866-559-4444. This is 11-year NBA veteran Katina Moses. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by the NHL and TNT. The Anaheim Ducks will begin their NHL season tonight when they welcome in the Jets at the Honda Center. John Gibson will start between the pipes. The Kings will start their season against the Golden Knights tomorrow. The Chargers made some roster moves today, signing linebacker Nate Hall to their practice squad and releasing defensive lineman Andrew Brown. And MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred expressed his doubts for a new ballpark in Oakland for the A's, confirming relocation is on the table and plans aren't finalized soon. I'm Jamie Haffron. The NHL makes a trip to TNT tonight at 4.30 Pacific as the New York Rangers take on the Washington Capitals, followed by the Colorado Avalanche and Chicago Blackhawks. Watch NHL on TNT every Wednesday and follow Bleacher Report Open Ice for more action. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. Crash on the 57 in Anaheim. This one is along the southbound side, coming up on Fall Road. That is where middle lanes are blocked and delays are backing up away from Lincoln. Let's check in with Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by injury attorney Superwoman Superlawyer.com. What's shaking, Mike? Well, just over past Adina. Looks like the 210 westbound. You've got some slowing there. Just from San Gabriel Boulevard on and off into this downtown. Looks like just the worst of the two fair oaks there. Now, the other side, much tougher. The 310 eastbound, that loads up out of the Arroyo there. Away for the Rose Bowl, all on the brakes most of the way after Citrus. Little pitch at the 57, and then once again, looks like from Upland through Rancho Cucamonga, it's a pretty choppy drive there. Looks like the 10 eastbound, on the brakes from City Terrace out to West Covina. A little break, and then another pinch from the 57 into Claremont. Interviews, accidents, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This report is sponsored by Grocery Outlet. Did you know that your local grocery outlet is independently owned and operated by folks in your community? This allows them to better serve their customers and give back to their communities. Stop by your local grocery outlet today. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. If you've decided to sell your house, I know it is tempting to just get it listed as is, 
or even take one of those cash out deals. But why sell yourself short when making just the right upgrades will maximize its sale value? You mean like flipping our own home, Dean? We don't have the expertise or the cash for that. I know, but my friends at Revive do. Revive knows exactly what to change, what to spend, and where to spend it. They'll manage everything for you and front all the costs. Yes, Revive fronts the cost. They get paid back from escrow, but the profit gained is all yours. How much profit? The average client makes over 200% profit on what Revive invests on their behalf. It's a no-brainer. Reach out to iloverevive.com today and see if your home qualifies. To make the most from the sale of your home, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. New tonight on CBS. CSI, the global phenomenon, opens a brand new chapter in Las Vegas. If we need any death insurance, now we know. It's a new team of crime scene investigators. We're talking about my last reputation. Preserving justice in Sin City. A look at the evidence. New CSI Vegas, tonight, 10 night central on CBS. Then, on CBS 2 News at 11, vacation star travelers may want to try their luck in Las Vegas. But is now the right time? We look at deals. Which shows have returned and what are the COVID protocols? The Vegas Gamble, tonight at 11 on CBS 2 News. I'm Pepper. A lot has changed over the last two years, but one thing remains the same. Our commitment to bringing you the facts with honest and accurate reporting. Stay with CBS 2 News, because one thing is sure, wherever we go from here, we go together. Did you know the Auto Club offers competitive rates on auto insurance? Go to AAA.com slash insurance for a free quote today and find out how much you could save. Insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. Sign on the line. Inc. GBA True Mortgage is a fair housing lender. NMLS 1626659. The following example is a 30-year term at 2.625% on a loan amount of $300,000 with a 50% LTV. Primary residence only and with a 745 score. Rates are at all-time lows, but you hear a lot of conflicting information about what that means to you exactly. The team at True Mortgage wants to show you how affordable a true loan can actually be and how much it might cost you each month. If you've got a $300,000 loan and you're paying a dime more than $1,250 a month, you must call True Mortgage now at 833-66-FASTER or go to truenow.com to see what they can do to make your monthly payment more affordable. Twelve fifty per month on a $300,000 loan is true, and they can help you get into a super affordable monthly payment and help you immediately. Have a $400,000 loan, merely add another $400 per month, and so on. It is simple math and an even easier payment, but as Chairman Powell said, rates will go up, so call today. True Mortgage, 833-66-FASTER or truenow.com. That's 833-66-FASTER or dial pound 250 and use the keywords True Mortgage. Hey, Neil Savetra, when you bring home a beautiful avocado but it isn't ripe yet, you can speed up the process by placing the avocado in a paper bag with an unpeeled banana. The harmless ethylene gas that's given off by both the banana and the avocado will shorten the ripening time. The Fork Report with Neil Savetra on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. Johnny Pitch, John Covell, and Ken Shambos. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Well, doing a little more looking, a few listeners have alerted me to this. Uh, it's a story from June of 2020. New rule in California will require zero emission trucks. More than half the trucks sold in the state must be zero emissions by 2035, and all of them by the year 2045. Or somebody pointed out that they still haven't really made a heavy-duty electric that truck yet. Okay, that that's all nonsense until they invent a thousand things. That's just virtue signal. You don't have uh, uh, electrical charging stations in any great number. There's very few. You don't have an electrical grid that's built up to handle this kind of demand. It doesn't exist. You don't have cars and trucks that are made affordable yet. I, you know, it's just every, everybody in the media repeats this crap over and over again. You know, by 2035, it's like, it might not be 2075 unless they invent this stuff. So looking at an actual document from the air quality management people, uh, it's a little booklet guide for people that uh, operate uh, diesel-powered trucks. And without getting too complicated, 
basically, um, if your vehicle is uh, 2010 or newer, you are compliant. But I think beginning this year or last year, they're blocking DMV renewal for trucks that are older than that. And there are some people, according to a few listeners that have emailed, that said that uh, some of the trucking people don't want to invest that much money. They don't want to deal with these rules. So that could explain the shortage of truck the drivers. Trucks. Yeah, the trucks. They they drivers. Yeah, they they. You know, and uh, that that needs to be investigated. And of course, the, the news media is a bunch of leftist uh, jackholes. So they're never going to report on how this fanaticism might be uh, helping to ruin the economy. I don't really I don't really care what trucks run on or what they pollute. We we got to live our life. Stuff needs to be delivered. Although otherwise. Places, you know, companies close up. We lose jobs. I, I don't, I, it, it, it's necessary to keep everybody employed. Period. End of story. And if that means we're, we're polluting some or we've got greenhouse gases, then, well, for now you got to deal with it. Just got to live with it. Yeah, I mean, how much this is a part, i uh, read this again. Starting in 2020, new enforcement tools ensure the vehicle subject to carbs, Truck and bus regulations must meet the health-based requirements of that rule prior to getting registration for the California DMV. Beginning January 1st, 2020, the DMV cannot register any vehicle that does not meet the requirements of the truck and bus regulation. And one of them is, as I mentioned, the vehicle has to be equipped with a 2010 or newer model year when, engine. When the government overly, overly regulates an economy, you get Cuba. And you get, I, we were there there's nothing in the store. Grocery shelves are empty. The drugstore shelves are empty. That's what happens. There's, there's just nothing there. We're, we're getting some of that now. Right? They, they pump so much money into the economy, all the printed money, all the borrowed money, that we have rampant inflation now. And they gave so much money to so many people, they haven't had to work. So people don't show up to take the job. They must, all these people must still be living off being able to sit home for 18 months and getting lots of free money and not having to pay rent. I think a lot of people will will stay out of the workforce until they've spent all their savings from the last year and a half. Why well, go to work if I don't have to? Because if you're not paying rent, you know, that's usually what, like 30% of your uh, your paycheck? I mean, inflation is simply described as too much money chasing too few goods. So if you combine the handouts with the problems in the supply chain, you can see why the latest report shows inflation running at an annual 5.4% pace. But that astonished some of those who follow. Oh, yeah, all the experts. Oh, gee, another, another wrong prediction from the experts. You know, a friend of mine told me, I don't know if I mentioned this on the air. Maybe you've seen this because you go up to Las Vegas. He said when the Biden bucks were flowing and all the extra unemployment checks were flowing, you go to Las Vegas and there was, he said there was riffraff there like you wouldn't believe, like he'd never yeah, seen before. I can confirm that. That's right. And, and people I were, noticed it right away last yeah. year. I'm like, uh, this is a different caliber of person. Yeah, that's right. Not that you go there and you see America's best, but, but this was even a cut below. Uh, and it was, and I heard that some of the employees are grousing that uh, it's gotten difficult. Yeah, and so the, the caliber of the... Uh, right, and, and school was out, so people would bring their kids, leave their kids unattended in the rooms and the hallways, and then go down and gamble and drink all day and night. I, someone else told me, who was a really frequent business traveler, that he's in the medical field, and he continued, even during the pandemic, to take flights, because he had to go to... The, and he said the caliber of the traveler definitely went down a bunch of notches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the fares went down during the... Yeah, exactly. And that, got and, newfound money. And that's what they did with their Biden bucks. They blew their Biden bucks on a vacation. They decided they were finally going to do the things they couldn't right. do before. Right. right. I told you, uh, a friend of my uh, wife works at a, a high-end uh, uh, a retail shop. Uh, one of those Beverly Hills shops. Yeah. And a uh, shoe department, you know, where the shoes go for $1,000. Never does. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that the quality of the customers buying the $1,000 shoes was unlike anything she ever seen in her life. 
But it's temporary. Be doing three years. Well, you buy it. It's, stuff. it's not going to. She said it was a stampede. I guess it's just a short-term feel-good. They right? got off the plane. They went to Beverly Hills. <laughs> they stormed all the expensive stores, and they were acting rude, boorish. They wouldn't wear their masks. <laughs> the shoes were being thrown all over the place. <laughs> It's, it's the attack of the riffraff. Yeah. So, you know, I don't listen to experts. It's like, yeah, I listen to what people see in their everyday lives. The riffraff rise up. It tells you a lot more. That's what's been going on. So none of these people wanted to go to work. They were just looking at these at, at all this free money. It's like, well, this is the one, this is a the one once in a lifetime shot. Yeah, that was a joke I made to people. I said, uh, the people that had uh, some amount of wealth. Panicked a bit over COVID, decided to shut down, stay home, don't travel, don't go anywhere. But the riffraff said, now's our time. <laughs> this group COVID, the prices are low, I'm going. This is our moment. <laughs> All right, more coming up. Johnny Kent, Cat I, Deborah Marquez, News. LAPD officers have shot and killed a man in the Palms area. Detective Megan Aguilar says a man was in a home threatening relatives with a meat cleaver. He's a family member of the uh, two female adults and the 10-year-old that reside there, and he was residing there as well. Aguilar says when officers arrived, they noticed the guy in some sort of distress, but it wasn't clear if, he, if it was mental illness or drug-related. Aguilar says the incident was recorded on body cam. The news is brought to you by Water Feeders Only. California is suing three companies that make and sell ghost gun kits. State Attorney General Rob Bonta says ghost guns are untraceable and can be put together quickly. 15 minutes and you have a use of weapon, and that's all it can take. Sponsors of ghost guns have been used in fatal shootings at Santa Monica College in 2013 and Saudi High School in 2019. About 70 million retirees on Social Security will get a 5.9% increase in their benefits in 2022. The Social Security Administration says that equates to $92 a month for the average retired person. The administration says it's the biggest cost of living adjustment in 39 years. Boeing has told its workers they need to get vaccinated against COVID-19 or they could get fired. The policy applies to about 125,000 employees. The vaccination deadline is December 8th. And a new survey shows people are happier on planes that actually have room for their carry-on. Customer satisfaction scores on American Airlines planes built with much larger overhead space bins are 5 percentage points higher than planes with smaller bins, according to the company. Americans says other benefits from the larger bins are things like fewer delays from checking bags at the gate and more customer loyalty. On single aisle narrow body jets, it's difficult or impossible to fit all bags in the smaller bin if all the passengers had carry-on. And with more and more airlines charging for checked bags, customers want that overhead space. Brian Berubin, KFI News. So this one is along the eastbound side, just before the 605, the left lane is blocked away here, loading up, getting away from Avalon. So we've got Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by Interior Attorney, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. And just over Fit City and uh, Bravo on the 10, Santa Monica Freeway there on the eastbound side. Looks like it's about, oh, we're calling it right around Fairfax. I don't see anything working except just a, a horrible drive. The East End then loads up around Cloverfield, leaving 20th there in Santa Monica. You know that drill. It's going to be tough into downtown Los Angeles from there. Now, elsewhere on the west side, northbound side is 405, loading up right out of Culver City, and it's going to be heavy most of the way up through the pass, up to about Roscoe, where it shakes free a bit there. And I'm heading down to check some problems coming up on the 91 into the Boynton, or Bellflower area, I should say. 91 eastbound at Bellflower Boulevard is doing an accident there. And another one up ahead at just about 605, and that's going to be adding to a tough drive from the beginning of the freeway at the 110. If you're interested in that trip, visit superwoman, superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. Hey, have you applied for a mortgage, but you were denied, told no, hit the road, get out, because you couldn't show proof of income or employment verification, except you're working, you're self-employed. You should be able to get a mortgage. Well, you have to go to Equinox Home Financing. They have a new mortgage service just for you. You do not need proof of income or employment verification, and it doesn't matter if you're purchasing a house or refinancing or doing a cash-out refinance. If you want to finally get qualified for the home loan, you need to talk to the good people at Equinox Home Financing. Call 1-855-LOAN-45.
855-LOAN-455, Equinox Home Financing.com. Wait for the California Department of Real Estate and the California Department of Financial Oversight, NMLS number 1212805. Southland weather from KFI, sunny tomorrow, highs around 80 for Metro LA, mid-70s to mid-80s in the valley, low to upper 70s in inland OC, 75 to 80 in the IE. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Deborah Mark. Living with dental issues is hard. No one knows this better than Joseph, who struggled with failing teeth for years. The inflammation, the bad breath, the teeth falling out, the pain. These issues took their toll, so Joseph came to Clear Choice Dental Implant Center, where he discovered one procedure to put an end to the years of discomfort, pain, and compromise. Once I got it done, I was like, why did you wait so long? That's what dental implants did for Joseph. Find out what they can do for you by visiting clearchoice.com. Don't miss Hulu's new original series, Don't Stick, an investigative thriller from executive producer Danny Strong. Discover how one company triggered the worst drug epidemic in American history and then tried to cover it up. Watch how it all began in the boardrooms of Big Pharma, ravaged small-town America, and made its way to the hallways of the DEA.